Hey guys, welcome to Coding After 30. I want to make a video talking about the process of learning to code and talk about some of the myths that you hear online. My journey learning to code has been difficult. And the common thing that you hear online that after taking a couple of courses or learning to code for three months, you could get a job making over 100K. It is not true. Anybody who says coding is easy, it's either not telling you the truth, not being really honest with you, or they tell you anybody could learn it, or they've been coding all their life and to them coding is easy. But the truth is, it's very difficult. There's no easy way to get into this field except putting in hard work. Now, it's totally worth it if this is something you enjoy, but don't believe the hype. Coding is very difficult. It takes a lot of hard work and it's not as easy as people making out to be. Now, I don't sell any courses on this channel and one day maybe I will, but a lot of people that do promote this idea of that learning to code is easy is probably because they're trying to sell you something. Most likely, they might have a class, Python development to get your job and make 100k or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. I guarantee you, if you look at the statistic of all the people that finish those courses, 90% of them fail. They don't make it. Uh, the only way to succeed is just doing the right thing every day for a long period of time, right? You need to have discipline and a system in place that allows you to learn to code. But more than that, just a minute. Now, my name is Paul, and if you're new to this channel, I talk about my journey switching careers into web development later in my life. So if this is something that interests you, consider subscribing. All right, guys, I just want to say that the truth is anything that is worthwhile doing is difficult. It is not easy. It doesn't matter if it's becoming a doctor, a lawyer, a programmer, whatever it is, it takes hard work. To assume there's a shortcut is already working from a bad assumption. The point is, if you think you want to learn to code because that's where the money is and you think you're going to get it by taking a couple of courses, you guys are going to have a rude awakening and you guys are going to end up being developers that have been trying to learn to code, not really putting the effort into it and trying to find a job and not being able to land anything for two, three years, maybe five years. When I first started to code was a while ago, but I was never serious about it. And what happened is for six, seven years, I didn't really do anything. It's only when I was around 35, turning 36, I started taking it seriously. I started making time in my day, at least two hours to start to code daily and building stuff and working and stuff and the first two years and I said two years I didn't say three months learning to code for me was very difficult things would not go into my brain I have videos my friend used to coach me and me sitting there with my eyes glazed over not knowing what's going on so anybody that's trying to tell you that coding is easy it is not and the reason why I want to tell you this is because I want to make sure that you guys right from the start know that this journey requires a lot of work and dedication I would argue more more so than some of these other things that you might want to do. So the truth is learning to code is very difficult. If this is something you're serious about, what you need to do, you need to have a system that allows you to stay on track. So the idea is you create a set of habits, procedures, part of your system that you say for two hours before my family wakes up, I'm going to code. And then two hours after everybody goes to sleep in my house, I'm going to code. And I'm going to code for four hours every day. Yes, I'm not going to watch Netflix. Yes, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to give up going to bars with my friend. I'm going to give up part of my life so I could learn this skill. If you can't make this commitment, it is going to be very difficult. I study all the time. If I told you how much I study and still struggle, you're probably going to get discouraged. And the reason why I tell you this is because I'm not the smartest person in the room. Things take a while for me to learn and it takes practice, practice, practice. When you start to learn, you actually have to know what you're doing. And the best way to learn is to sit in front of the computer in your code editor like look let me just click here see what happens oh look it's open oh my god look there's code here because I code a lot 
and this is the only way to get better and if you think that you could cheat your way and somehow get a hundred thousand dollar job let me ask you this why do doctors get paid a lot why do lawyers get paid a lot why why is it is because whatever service they're providing is requires a lot of skill so the thing is the way you earn your money is you have to be able to provide a value to your company so if someone is making hundred thousand dollars a year that means that company is making three times more or maybe five times more so they're probably making three hundred to five hundred thousand dollars off that person and that person is getting paid hundred twenty thousand dollars a year this is just the way things work the whole point what I'm saying is that whatever value you provide there has to be massive amount of value that the company gets so if you think that you're all of a sudden gonna just learn some HTML CSS and some basic like how to make a website and whatever and go get hired at a company you're not going to make that money the truth is most of the developers that get started their starting salary literally ranges from 35 to 55 thousand dollars your first year you might get stuck working at a job where you are barely making 30 maybe because you don't have a college degree maybe because you don't have enough experience whatever reason that is and eventually over time two three years you could be making up to 80 to a hundred thousand dollars but that takes time and if you're not willing to work even after you get your job you just not gonna get it so anyway I wanted to make this video for you guys because I want you to guys understand that this is not an easy path it's hard it's challenging and if you have a doubt in your mind that you're not able to commit to put the amount of work that it requires honestly it's going to be very difficult so I used to teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and MMA full time that was my life that's what I did and I associated in my mind that's what I identified with a Jiu Jitsu practitioner whatever it is and everything I did in my life was around that when I left that job when I quit I literally identified in my mind I'm a programmer and I have to do what a programmer does on his daily routine and you know what I do now I don't do any Jiu Jitsu I don't think about Jiu Jitsu I just think about every day about coding I watch YouTube everything code related I study coding I have friends who have jobs as programmers and we talk about code so 80% of my life maybe when I'm not sleeping and dreaming about code I talk about code there's this guy on YouTube Ben Awad he does amazing YouTube uh, stuff about programming and even the smartest programmer the youngest programmer probably on YouTube even he said that coding is difficult and this is someone who's really really smart and got a degree in computer science anyway I probably rambled long enough but I felt like I needed to make this video to give you guys the truth about learning to code and what it takes now if you're interested learning to code don't give it up just know it's gonna be hard work if you're looking for free tutorials people ask me why don't you have tutorials because there's a lot of stuff out there so I'm going to recommend that you guys check out coding addict really great a lot of free stuff and his Udemy courses are excellent you know I I have nothing else to say this is what I wanted to tell you today because I was just kind of thinking and realizing that there's a lot of people think that this is easy and they think that magically somehow they're gonna get a job so I just want to get this video out there get it over with and tell you that don't believe the hype it's not true it is complete nonsense when someone tells you you're going to get a job in three months and even boot camps there's few boot camps that I like but the truth is if you go to a boot camp but you're not putting that extra work at home and you're not building stuff and you're not learning anything they're teaching and you're not getting out out there trying to get a job you're not connecting with recruiters you're not optimizing your LinkedIn you're not building your portfolio you're not gonna get a job it's plain and simple so anyway hate it love it whatever you want to do but this is my opinion this is the truth in my mind because I don't know any other way and for me it's been nothing but hard work so anyway if you're still with me and if you still like this channel if you still agree or disagree with what I'm saying and feel that you want to stick it through and work hard that's awesome